Alrighty, welcome back. Another thrifting video. We're stopping off at the post office. It's supposed to be a warm day. It's supposed to be a warm day. I'm already kind of warm. Already kind of warm. What do we got? We got like two, three, four, five, six packages. Uh, two of these were Taco Stack t shirts. So thank you for everyone who's picked up Taco Stack t shirts. The, the support does not go unnoticed. Appreciate it, guys and girls. Um, all the support does not go unnoticed, that is for sure. And uh, all the proceeds from the Taco Stack t shirts are just going right back to that channel. So I was able to pick up a camera not too long ago. A brand new camera. I know that GoPro's acting up. I didn't buy another GoPro. I still use this for action videos like this or trash pick and stuff like that. But for more of the daily stuff, the stuff that where I don't have to really lug around a camera, um, that's going to be great. But we are going thrifting today and uh, should find some good things. I'm going to switch it up a little bit today. I'm not going to do a recap at the end. I'll kind of just go through what I pick up while I'm picking it up and uh, talk about what I don't pick up and why I don't pick it up or or certain little things with thrifting that I do. Uh, so let's get out there and let's go thrifting. All right, so we are stuck up here. What in the world? All right. All right, so what we have here is some football jerseys. Now these are flag football jerseys. Um, they give them away whenever you play flag football. This is adult size, but I don't, I don't think it is. Um, these jerseys are really tough to move. And they give them away like at every league. So I never picked them up. Just kind of things. There was a CCM hockey jersey. Yeah, this is a hockey t-shirt. And usually I would grab it, it is $2, but hockey season's over, and the Flyers are one team that's been very difficult. Well, hockey season isn't over, but the Flyer season's over. And the Flyers have been a team that's very, very difficult for me to sell. Um, even with their success this year, just very difficult. Very difficult, so I'm going to pass on it. And that's only based off experience. What I did grab was two of these... Nike sweatshirts. I didn't look them over, but they are on sale. They're only two bucks. Uh, this is a very simple design, and for some reason, I saw a lot of them. And the darker colors sell very well. So, like the light red, they don't sell that well. Uh, gray does sell, but light blue, light red, they're kind of a slow mover. These dark colors sell very, very, very easily. Okay, so I only found two sweatshirts. Uh, T-shirt section was already picked through. It seemed to be like, um, with the, the warmer months here, it's going to be harder and harder to find T-shirts. These braces, $5. Sometimes tool belts. This, I think, is a back brace for, like, weightlifting. Um, sometimes tool belts get a decent amount. Generally speaking, a lot of these, like, plates um, are very difficult to move, whether it be at a flea market or online. This, I guess, would, guess would be a medical cabinet with a little cross on it.
All right, so Craigslist Hunter talked about these uh, a couple times. He always makes money off these. These are VHS DVD combo things. This one seems to have a power cord, which is very important, um, but there's no price tag. The price tag was torn off, so I know from this place you can't get it if it doesn't have a price tag. I've already tried that, um, unfortunately. I don't know what this is. Power man. Oh, it's an alarm clock. Sometimes you gotta flip it over a little bit more. But this is probably a thirty or forty dollar piece. I, I would assume a lot of these electronics are priced at eight, ten bucks. Let's see what we got here. This is a lamp. Four dollars for a lamp. So that's eight bucks. So. If this had a price tag on it for five bucks or less, I would pick it up, but I know they're not going to sell it to me. So, I'll leave it for someone else. Maybe they can negotiate a price. If you're someone who likes to do electronics, these are easy flips. Considering that there are so many VHSs out there, and a lot of VHS players don't work. Thirty bucks for an Ion ILP, untested. This is an RBHS player. I don't know what this is made. No, I don't know what it is. All right, next door store. Um, it's getting kind of warm out. Switched to a t-shirt. It's actually 82 right now. When I left this morning, I was 51, and when I got to the other store, it was 73. So it's rising. Summer is here. Let's see if we find any bargains here. Let's see what this is all about. 25 bucks. Oh, it's fake. What is it? It's like, it's not real wood. I was intrigued. Okay, so last of store today. Uh, last of store I was at, picked up this one Detroit Tigers t-shirt. It is vintage. Large, it was only 99 cents. Can't really see it's like a t shirt jersey. I don't really find much Detroit Tiger stuff with the actual Tiger on it that often anymore, so I figured I'll pick it up uh, with baseball season here. I know it'll be a quick move. We're at Karen Share. I'm going to stop in a way and pan. I'm going to check out the variety store. Let's see how well this goes. I got bit by some bug right there, and I got all these bumps over here, so I might be dying right now. So hopefully you can find some good things and share. Maybe it'll revive me a little. I always like coming in here and see what they have in their nice section. They have this whole Penn State collection. That's all Yoda collection. Comic collection. It makes you really wonder, like, what do these other stores really get in? that they don't put on the floor. Once in a while, I'll find a good baseball glove over here as well. It's all torn up. steps are $30. Maybe I'm missing the boat on that one, because I find these a lot in the garbage, I'm like, I don't know if people really want them. But 30 bucks, and they got two sets. So I guess maybe I'll start picking them up. Workout equipment is kind of difficult, in my opinion. And there's just so much of it because people want to do it, and then they do it for like a month, and then they just stop. 
This is forty dollars. Forty bucks. It's vintage. Here, but there's also these cool Tonka trucks. They're like in a Tiffany blue. And all Tiffany blue is not my favorite color. I would say of all the vintage colors, it's it's pretty appealing. Amazing just what good stuff is still out there and what's being donated. Alright, so just leaving that way and pay thrift store I paid a dollar thirty-two for these. These shoes. They're not in too rough of shape. They are Kobe's. I think they're a low top alpha. They're purple, but they're my size. And the thing is I go through a lot of sneakers myself. Um, and because of that. If I can ever pick them up really cheap from something that, you know, I can maybe wear, I'll always grab them. Um, cutting grass, doing a lot of different random things. So I'm going to probably wear those for about a month and then just sell them or do something with them. They're new. They're like 60 bucks used. I can probably get 15 or 20. So always good to pick up some more stuff for yourself. we got one more thrift store in a day and then I'll wrap it up. So Right, last thrift store. Last thrift store. This is in Hellertown. Huh. This is pretty cool. Tommy Hilfiger. Uh, it's, I think, a kid's size. I can't even read that. XL. Yeah, it's definitely like a kid's XL. I don't know. Maybe it's a men's XL. Got some dark standing up there. XLT Made in China. I don't think it's vintage. It's got some wear there. Any cast iron. This is a whole set. $50. It's probably quiz and art, I bet. No, it's not. Commercial aluminum. Is that the name of it? Commercial aluminum? Commercial aluminum cookware of Ohio. So that's going to wrap it up here. It's getting really warm out. Um, yeah, it's going to wrap up thrifting here. I know I said I wasn't going to do a recap. I didn't really find much today anyway. But still a nice day out. Still a nice day to go treasure picking. What I did pick up at that last thrift store was one hat. Uh, it's a Pittsburgh Pirates hat. Snapback. It's an older one. Um, yeah. So probably get 10 15 for that. It was only a dollar, which is weird because this place really doesn't sell much for a dollar. This store used to be really cheap. All the American Family Thrift stores used to be really cheap and everything used to be like 95 cents or $1.91. I think I already, already lost my receipt. But um, yeah, just want to kind of wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the treasure picking. And uh, if you guys want to see more, definitely subscribe to the channel for future videos. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.